Welcome back now to some pedal power. Every year, thousands of professional cyclists compete in grueling conditions for a chance to win one of the most prestigious jerseys. With unpredictable weather conditions and terrain, falls and collisions are inevitable. Unfortunately for these guys, their only protection besides a helmet is Lycra. In the middle, sandwiched in there, is a man from Francis de Jure. Very possibly Sebastian Chavanel again, just sitting in there, sitting in there, sitting in, seeing what's going on. Oh, 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 the big crash! Oh, they moved over to the right-hand side. There's a massive pile. It looked like one of the liquid gas riders has gone. I think the green jersey of Robbie McCune has just hit the deck. You can see it, the bottom of your screen there. They're coming down here, what, 40, 45 miles an hour. Oh, he's gone! That's what's happened! I told you, the danger of this descent. One man's gone down. Unbelievable, riders at the back. They've got to go around the debris. You have to take your hat off to these rides, don't you? They've been riding all the big classics, they've been training throughout the season, they come and race here, and then this happens. Oh. Here we go, look how hard they go right. Oh, I don't want to be in this group. Oh, it's going to happen. You just knew it was going to happen, didn't you? Oh, dear, oh, dear. A touching of wheels, I think, Sean. All coming together, all that sort of concertina effect again. Shoot, crash, oh, ouch, ouch. Oh, he's got that! The tiredness and the dampness and the sand on the road just shows the speed at which they're going, these riders, and down they go. And that looks uh, nasty. That path is covered in uh, loose time of gravel. Whack! Straight onto the ground, across the curb, that's very nasty. I'm sitting here all shaking, quite honestly. Oh, someone's gone right down the ditch! Oh, that narrow road and the conditions on that. Uh, so they just touched the wheels and down they went and they're into once the seaweed and all sorts here. Well, I saw that taking the buckets and spades and going out there and digging yourself a sun cast. I didn't think they'd end up there. Some of the riders are right into the sand. Somebody slows back. Somebody that said is coming back very slowly. I don't quite know why. Whoops, yes. And they all start to try and weave all over the place and down they go. Well, this is where the danger happened if you didn't see our early part of our program. But uh, if you didn't see the early part, you're going to have to go down. That's exactly right. They're going down. We had this before. All over the place have gone more gone down this time than before. They're going down so fast they just can't hold the bike steady. More drama. Disaster for so many riders. I don't think I've seen in all my years so many crashes like this under these conditions. Yes, when it's wet, down they go. But when it's dry, they're going so fast at the moment, bouncing and banging all over the place. It might as well be on ice. That's absolutely awful. And there's going to be an enormous amount of fuss made. the cyclists are the least of their worries. In the mountain stages, spectators like to get up close and personal, sometimes too close. And cyclists have to be aware of everything and anything. Here I am, here I am, hey, hello mum, hello dad, hello, bang, crash, lock 
her up. Lock her up. This is criminal. On the left hand side goes Robbie McEwen. And there on one side of the other. It's going to be Robbie McEwen, is it? McEwen and Pataki. Oh, and oh, there's a crash on the line. Oh, my word. Two or three riders going down. Very, very slippery. Let's have a really look at this. Pataki's bike all over the place. As he came in, the first rider to go down, it looked like Serrano and then Bettini, who came in just behind him. And there's a, a patch on that road there as they've just uh, touched the brakes. Away they've gone. Very, very slippery surface, Sean. And they're just sliding as if they're on ice once again. The Tinkoff rider went down first, actually. And just when he hit the, the, the paint on the road, the boy just left, went from under him, as we see it there, with Bettini just close by. 